Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Ferrando. I teach philosophy at NYU Program of Liberal Studies and I am very honored to be with you in this incredible journey of how to write a paper. More clearly, how to write a good paper. This is a mini course and this is the fifth exercise connected to the video number five, which is about where the architecture of your paper, which is foundational. Without a good structure, a building cannot stay up. So this exercise, in this exercise, I want you to take out your journal. It can be a paper journal, it can be your laptop, your phone, and answer this question, what is my structure? Here I want you to do something different. I don't want you to write, I want you to draw. I want you to draw your structure. For a paper, your structure, unless it's really intentional, should not be a labyrinth. It should be very, very clear. For instance, you should have a very good title with an introduction, and then you should have a very clear topic. It's the first part. You can draw in any way you want. Make it visual. Make it your, your architecture very clear, very, very visual. Draw. I don't want you to write here. Draw your structure. Make sure that you have for instance, if the first topic is connected to an author, that author should be mostly in that section. Then this section should be harmoniously connected to the second one. Do not jump. Make sure that like, a song is connected. Maybe they are different parts, but they need to be connected. So the second part is going to be connected to the first part. Maybe at the very end of the first part, you can start mentioning the next topic that you're going to be addressing, the next author that you're going to be addressing. In the second part, you're going to be addressing your second subtopic, the one that is really foundational to prove your argument, specifically connected, for instance, to a second author that you are going to be addressing. Either you agree with this author or not, does not matter. They are your friends, no matter what. Your friends, a lot of your friends you don't agree with, and they are still your friends. So this is your second source. And then you're going to connect it again, make it draw the map. How is the connection? What is going to be there The connect number two to three? That often there is a lack, there is a change of tone, that there is a surprise. The reader don't understand why from one part you're going to find yourself in the second part. You don't want that. You don't want your readers to be surprised in a bad way that they get scared about whether this person taking me to you. You want them to prepare them and let them know at the end of the second part, let them know where they're going to be in the third part. Accompany your reader through this journey that is your paper. Make sure that they are feeling that they are safe with you in this journey. Third part, third topic, third author. And then from here, you're going to go to your conclusions. The conclusion should be the intentional garden, the most beautiful part. The reader at this point is tired. Make sure that you make the conclusion easy, that you don't want adding any new information there, that you don't want any quotes, any new author, nothing like that. Make it a success. Make it like a good dessert that you, when you go to a restaurant, you will really want to eat after having a very good dinner or a very good lunch. So make sure that the conclusions are really uh, the closing ceremony of your paper. And here, in this exercise, exercise, you are drawing. So you can take notes as in a good uh, uh, architectural map, you are drawing and take notes. So enjoy your design for your beautiful, beautiful paper that we are all very excited to read. Thank you so much.